Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Russian Fishing 4, and yes, you're right, I'm back here at Mosquito Lake. And why am I back here? Well, to be perfectly honest, I wanted a chance to get try a little bit of trolling again before I reach level 12 and can go to Old Berg. So I went ahead and came back here, and we're going to get on our little boat here got this for a few days. Thought I might do a little bit of trolling because it's fun as hell. And why not? I haven't been in the boats since the English version came on. Whoa! Okay, okay. Don't hit the weeds. There we go. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop the engine here. And I don't necessarily need to drop the anchor, but I am going to go ahead and get this set up. So, let's see. What have I need to do here? I need to first take this Sorrento out and put it the corona back all right wait a minute here i got the corona i got the heavy yep 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 okay everything's good now let's see we're going to put our heavier rod in the first tow so let's go ahead and come on there we go Alright, actually we're going to need to pull up a little bit more than that. That's looks like we have spun out a little bit, so let's go ahead and get the engine started here. I am seriously stuck in these weeds. Huh? I don't want to do this with that. I don't drive as bad in real life as I do on this boat. Alright, let's go ahead and stop it now. Okay, we're going to throw this one out, and I think what we're going to put on here, since this is the heavier rod, I'm going to put my hypnotic. And we're going to toss that out a little ways. We're going to set the retrieval speed to 30 and the friction brake to 22. And we're going to go ahead and place this in here. There we go. Now we're going to get our second rod out. And actually, I think I might just keep what I have on here. That doesn't look too bad. So let's go ahead, set our retrieval speed. Set this is about 22. Let's throw it out there. That's pretty good. And we're set. Alright. Now we got to pay close attention to this when we're traveling any direction. So let's go ahead and get the engine started. And let's go ahead and set this to trolling speed, guys. Now trolling. Get a little bit close to these weeds. Not too close. But I kind of like to get close to the shore. Holy crikeys. Get up, my friend. E. Oh. 
That didn't take long. Good God. I barely got out of here. What do we got here, guys? Looks like we got us a big perch. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, we'll go ahead and keep him. Yeah, I think I had heard that this was a popular perch. Wait a minute. Might want to put that back in correctly. Alright, let's go ahead and get this trolling speed here. Oh, gotta get that. Might help if you get... Let's try not to crash into the shore. What we'll do is we'll just go ahead and zip across the lake here. Keep it on our rods. Yeah, it's starting to get dark. I don't know how much good we're going to do at this point. Trolling. It's kind of fun. It's a little bit different. Nice change of pace. And I wanted to get some in before we left for Old Bird. Figured it was a good plan. We're probably not going to catch much at this point. So, this is a good place to stop. Go ahead and grab that second rod. You know, the light really works a lot better here, too. what it just said. It's a high probability of breakage. Yeah, you can't really troll at night. That kind of sucks. But, since it's a visual thing, it's kind of hard for the fish to see. Alright guys, it is morning and we are ready to head on out. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing out here a little bit. Yeah, I did some fishing at night. A little bit of float fishing, but man, they were not biting at all. They just really, really slow. So, let me go ahead and get this turned off again. We'll go ahead and set our rods out. I'll put this one on this side this time. put the second rod over here. Actually, I think I might change this with the perch killer, as my good buddy calls it. This is supposed to be really well liked by the perch. We'll just see how well liked it is. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Let's rock and roll, guys.
this into trolling mode and we are going to start moving here. I'm going to try to get somewhat close to the end of this edges if I can. Keep an eye on those. Yeah, I need to make my turns a lot sooner. It's been a while since I've been trolling. But I thought I'd do this at least one more time before we started heading to the next lake. so far. Fortunately, I don't have a boat. And the graphics in this game are amazing. Uh, whoa, okay. Stop, 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 stop. And we'll go ahead and grab that one. Shoot, that's the wrong one. Daggone it, I forgot I changed it. Okay. It's the first one. Okay, this is a big fish. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. What have we got here, guys? We have got something fairly big. I wish I could put the anchor out, but I can't. Yeah, he kind of took me by surprise. This is probably a pike. Or as much as this thing's fighting. This is my heavy rod, so this is a decent fish. Yeah, it's a pike. Ooh, he is... He is gonna give me a fight. Get in there, you little... There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. 1.434. 200 XP. Yeah, we are keeping that bugger. Bet your sweet bippy I'm keeping him. Alright. Yeah, I'm sorry about getting that rod screwed up, but... <laughs> I was like, shoot, I can't believe I did that. Yeah, this is my first rod, but I got it in the second setting there, so that's... That's not good. Okay, I don't think I put the anchor, so I think we're... Yeah, I did put the anchor. Alright. Let's go ahead and start trolling again. Yeah, that kind of took me by surprise. I wasn't quite ready for it have been quiet too long. Yeah, sometimes I kind of wish they had bells on this too, because with it behind me, I have to constantly look, and then I have to look around here to see if I'm running aground. Campsite. So far, so good. I'll tell you, that red hypnotic is just amazing. I can catch fish off of that like crazy. Early in the morning, and that's when things like to bite the most, as I, as you can see. Hold on. Wow, this is this is big. This is a big fish. I mean, he is not messing around. Check him out. 
think we got us a pike here, guys. We got us a pike. Now if we can keep him from getting off the line. Yeah, this is a pike. The way he's swimming around. Carp don't fight like that. Oh wow, there he goes. Come on, fish. Okay, I'm gonna turn this up just a notch. Let's see if we can't make this a little harder on him. Yeah, I think we're gonna need a net for this guy. Son of a gun, he got away. God bless it. Well, shoot. Yeah, there are times I really wish I could just go like this and set the hook. It doesn't work that way yet. I want to be sure that sucker's on there. Alright. Oh well, that was entertaining for a moment. Let's go ahead and get this started here. At least it didn't break my line or take my lure or anything like that, so... They are definitely biting. I'm keeping on these two. Swing over this way just a little bit. is we're going to circumnavigate this one more time, then we're going to go straight down the middle, see if anything's out in the deeper water. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, there we go. Got something this time. It isn't a monster, but it is a fish. Let's see what we got here. Probably a perch. Yep, it's a little perch. A little bitty perch. Wait a minute, let me go ahead and pick that up. I don't know if I. No, I didn't. <laughs> that could have gotten ugly. There we go. So little, I almost didn't even notice that he was actually even on there. I want to kind of get close to these weeds if I can. Like we've just about gone all the way around the lake once. Nothing. Nothing. up to the dock. Oh, shoot, here we go. There 
There we go. We got some this time. Thinking it's another perch. Oh, it's a little perch. Little bitty perch. Get it. it was a good chance of getting another one right there. Yeah, we just keep getting the little guys. Just keep getting the little guys. Strange that rod hasn't gotten so much as a nibble. Alright, we're gonna almost up to the dock, and once we get past it, we are going to head right up and down the middle. After we get this fish. Okay, this one's a little bit more significant than the others have been. It's not but what I had, but there you go. That's a decent perch. That's a little more like it. Ah, keep doing that. That is not good to leave it like that. Okay. Alright, let's keep going. Perch are definitely biting this morning. Keep an eye on that sucker. I'm gonna change the lure on the other side, see if I can get put a pike lure on there. Oh shoot, good god, here we go again. We are getting pike galore. Or not pike galore, perch galore. Alright, let's put that back in there. And we're going to change this lure. We might as well go ahead and turn this around. Head down to center. For some reason they are not going for this particular lure right now. I'm not sure why. So let's put something on there that's a little bit, a little bit more attractive. Thinking about this dragonfly stream, or maybe it seems like they're going for the red-ish colors. So let's put this on there. See if they like this one. Across. 
nice slow pace. That we can kind of watch our rods too. Oh shoot, there we go. And I think we got us another perch. Yep. Still nothing on that one. It just blows my mind. That's so weird. Alright, here we go again. See, what's nice about this is that we can kind of look at them. It's going to be a little while before we get across. So far, we'll get down here, we'll turn around and we'll come back up. I think we're going to call that an episode because I'm sure it's been plenty long enough, guys. Oh, here we go. Finally. We've got something on this floor. Finally got something off of this. Changing the lure was the best idea I had. Let's see what we got. Another perch. Yep. Wait a minute. Always forget to do that. Ah. Well, we didn't make it completely across before we got something. It's been pretty much... Well, maybe not. Hold on. I was going to say it's been pretty much perch, or the equivalent. But I don't think this is what this is. Let's see what we got here. We got a nice chub. There we go. We barely got moving before he was on that. For a minute, we had something there. Again. Well, they are definitely biting off these reddish lures. Must be cool. It seems like they usually do a lot of times in the sun. On sunny days. I don't know why. We're going to turn around and head back to the dock, and we'll call this an episode. After we get this fish... Whoa, okay, he is a little bigger than some of the ones I've had a minute ago. Let's see what we got here. Another chub! The chubs are really coming out out here. That's interesting. Okay, nothing on that one. Here we go again. 
It's gonna take as soon as we take off, rightly. Okay, those red lures, or red-ish lures, the orange ones too, seem to do really well in this sunny weather. Just keep an eye on it. Seems like a lot of times when I'm headed back to the dock, that's when something decides to bite. and we'll see what we got. There we go. Yep, I'm afraid we're done. We are done. Check out what we got here. Let's see. I don't think anything was spectacular. Yeah, we got a decent sized common roach. And a cup a good perch here at 1.39 and a chub wasn't too bad. The rest of them are pretty small though. But we did manage to get eleven of them, so not too bad. Alright. We have a hundred silver, not too bad. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I'm gonna come over here and get some chow. Anyway guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode. And always remember guys, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye bye.